Black Emmanuel, a journey through every film in the series. Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the tantalizing world of the Black Emmanuel film series. This iconic series has left its mark on the world of cinema for its unique blend of erotica and adventure. In this video, we'll explore the complete list of movies from the Black Emmanuel series. Number 1. More Libero, Free Love. 1974. Young engineer Francesco Ferraro is sent to Smeraldo Island in the Seychelles to oversee the tests necessary to dig a silver mine. But Francesco must also find out what happened to his predecessor, vanished without trace. The island seems to be an Eden on Earth, and the native girls freely explore the joys of making love, but there is something in the dark working against Francesco, and a mysterious accident disables his delicate equipment. Number 2. Lac Emmanuel. 1975. While on assignment in Nairobi, a photojournalist questions her racial and sexual identity when she engages in affairs with her wealthy hosts. Number 3. Emmanuel in Bangkok. 1976. Emmanuel is sent to Bangkok on a journalism assignment. While there, she embarks on her own exploration of the secrets of sensual pleasure. While learning much, she also reveals several secrets of her own. Number 4. Emmanuel on Taboo Island. 1976. Daniel is washed ashore after a shipwreck and discovers the beautiful Ide in a tropical island paradise. However, Ide's father and brother aren't as willing to accept their romance. Number 5. Black Emmanuel II. 1976. Emmanuel is now confined to a Manhattan psychiatric clinic with an acute case of extreme amnesia and depraved fantasies. Number 6. Black Cobra. 1976. Judas, a wealthy playboy living in Hong Kong, is obsessed with snakes. His apartment is full of them, and he treats them as if they were his children. One night Judas' brother persuades him to accompany him to see a dance act at a nightclub. Judas is astounded to see that the act consists of a beautiful Asian woman who dances nude while holding a python. He is immediately smitten, and winds up hiring her to take care of his snakes while he's away on business. However, things start to take a sinister turn. Number 7. Black Emmanuel, White Emmanuel. 1976. In the desert paradise of pleasure and pain, a glamorous fashion model and a free-spirited beauty surrender themselves to complete sexual ecstasy. But will an unhinged holy man now lead these new lovers as well as their friends and even family members into the most shockingly immoral acts imaginable? Number 8. Passion Plantation. 1976. In the pre-Civil War American South, Emmanuel, a plantation owner's daughter, while outwardly a dainty southern belle, brutally abuses the slaves in her charge. When her fiancé is bitten by a snake, he falls for Emmanuel's beautiful African-American maid whose kindness and skills saved his life. Insanely jealous, Emmanuel continues her sadistic behavior towards her charges, and when her fiancé announces he plans to wed the maid, Emmanuel gives her to her even more brutal hired men, and her fiancé is powerless to stop them. Can Emmanuel learn an important lesson in love before it's too late for everyone? Number 9. Emmanuel in America. 1977. An American journalist travels throughout the world in search of a good story by joining a modern-day harem and traveling to Venice to see what really goes on at diplomatic parties. While trying to expose a corrupt government official, Emmanuel stumbles upon a group that uses kidnapped girls to make and sell snuff films. Number 10. Yellow Emmanuel. 1977. In this sexploitation effort, a British pilot is assaulted by a gang of hoodlums and left on the street. He is eventually taken to a hospital, where he is nursed back to health by Dr. Emmy Wong, a beautiful Asian physician. As the pilot is restored to full health, he becomes increasingly infatuated with Emmy. Number 11. Sister Emmanuel. 1977. 
Emmanuel has renounced her life of lust to become a cloistered nun. But when she is assigned to a remote convent school for wayward girls, this delectable bride of Christ will face temptations that include a teenage nymphomaniac, a horny escaped criminal, and a class full of curious virgins eager to experience sins of the flesh. Can Emmanuel resist the erotic pleasures of her past, or will she break her vows and surrender to the ultimate orgy of unholy desire? Number 12. Emmanuel Around the World. 1977. Famous undercover journalist Emmanuel teams with her friend Cora Norman to uncover a white slave ring. Number 13. Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. 1977. While doing undercover work in a mental hospital, Emmanuel discovers a girl who seems to have been raised by a tribe of Amazonian cannibals. Intrigued, Emmanuel and friends travel deep into the Amazon jungle, where they find that the supposedly extinct tribe of cannibals is still very much alive. Number 14. Emmanuel and the White Slave Trade. 1978. While attempting to interview an elusive gangster, photojournalist Emmanuel notices a man pushing a girl in a wheelchair through the airport. Later, in another country she sees the same man and the girl up and walking. Intrigued, she does a bit of investigating and uncovers an organization dealing in the buying and selling of young women. She goes undercover into the organization but finds that getting out again could cost her her career and her life. Number 15 Emmanuel and the Erotic Nights 1978 Emmanuel hosts this peculiar sexploitation mondo film that looks at several examples of bizarre sexual behavior. Number 16. Emmanuel, Queen of Sados. 1980. After years of abuse at the hands of her husband, a woman, Emmanuel, is pushed to the breaking point. She hires a hitman to do in her husband, but just when she thinks her troubles are at an end, the assassin blackmails her. As her husband's business partner struggles to prove her guilt, and as the hitman continues to threaten her newfound security, Emmanuel struggles to keep her name clear and to keep her naive stepdaughter from becoming tangled in the web of danger she has created. Number 17. Divine Emmanuel. 1981. The young daughter of a U.S. senator is drawn into a hippie-free love cult called the Children of Light by the blonde boyfriend of the cult's leader, a mysterious and beautiful Asian woman. The cult turns out to be not quite the free love community it presents itself to be. Number 18. Emmanuel, Queen of the Desert. 1982. Emmanuel finds herself caught in the midst of a violent conflict, with each faction vying for her possession. However, her adversaries soon realize that Emmanuel's captivating allure is matched by her cunning intellect, as she cleverly employs her charms to manipulate the soldiers and gain the upper hand. Number 19. Emmanuel in the Country. 1982. When Emmanuel arrives in the small Italian village heads start turning and eyes start popping. All males in the town are falling all over themselves trying to get a look, or a feel, of the new doctor. Number 20. Violence in a women's prison. 1982. Emmanuel goes undercover into a prison to expose the corrupted officials who are brutalizing the inmates. Emmanuel is shocked by the horrors and humiliation the prisoners are subjected to, but when her true identity is discovered, she finds herself at the receiving end. Number 21. Emmanuel's perverse outburst. 1983. This film is composed entirely of clips from other films, redubbed to created a new film. Clips are from Emmanuel Nera Orient Reportage, 1976, Eva Nera, 1976, Emmanuel E. Ye Ultimi Cannibali, 1977, La Via della Prostitution, 1977, and possibly others. Hardcore inserts were also added. Number 22. Women's Prison Massacre. 1983. Emmanuel, a reporter, comes just a little too close to exposing a corrupt official, and is sent to prison on trumped-up charges. In the prison, the inmates are constantly humiliated and tortured by the prison staff. Overly affectionate prisoners are forced underwater, 
while others are obliged to look on. Emmanuel finds an enemy in the deranged Albina, who runs the prison. For the pleasure of the warden, Emmanuel and Albina are forced to fight each other with knives. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at the Emmanuel movie series, from its beginnings in Amore Libero Free Love to its expansion into a diverse collection of films. Which Emmanuel film is your favorite, and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more cinematic explorations. Until next time, keep watching, keep exploring, and keep the love for cinema alive.